Right, this one's fairly old, but gold, it might help someone out, it might not. Um, we do, I mean, this car's old, man, this is a 2005. Um, we do uh, maybe one a week of these still, and get other garages asking questions and stuff. It's so, not everyone knows. Uh, you might know, but not everybody knows. Ford Focus with lots of random faults such as intermittent non-start, cutting out while driving, warning lights on the dash, losing ABS, losing uh, steering systems, losing all sorts of crap, loads of random lights coming on. Um, instrument panel fault. Um, done so many of these that uh, these days I don't even bother plugging into them for the amount of time it takes to take it apart and have a look. Uh, might as well just do that. So quick bit of history this one came in about a month ago started looking at it which is why the instrument panel's loose but i've not actually had it out i just started taking it out and the customer decided that he's going to get a new car so i bought it off him and i haven't repaired it yet um and it's only played up on me a couple of times uh, i thought because i've got a terrible history of buying shitters um i thought i'd do a thousand miles in it first and i've done uh, 818 miles in it uh, but this morning it proper played up on me. I was stuck on the side of a dual carriageway for about 20 minutes. And uh, So, diagnosing these. Right, so you get in, if it's the non-start fault, fairly straightforward. You usually get that immobiliser light will be on. Um, this was currently not playing up, but it does intermittently when it was. Uh, you plug it in and mess about and it could send you on a wild goose chase. Or you could give it a good old slap and then it starts, it starts. Uh, same as all the other faults if you're on road test and it starts playing up. I can hit the instrument panel. Um, if it's that, it'll start doing other random shit and it'll go back to normal. Uh, very quick way of diagnosing it. Right, let's pull it out. As you can see, this one's loose, but I haven't taken it out. That's what I mean. So, to get these off, really straightforward. Yank it forward out. Down the bottom corners, there's a screw there, a screw there. And up the top, when that goes in the dash, can be a bit of a fucker. So, if you get some trim tools and you slide one there, one there, and one there, It'll just prise it away, and those little tang things will come down from from there. Because otherwise, you don't want to be using screwdrivers and marking all your customer stuff. I'm going to be as rough as you like on this because it's like I said, this is my car. I bought off customer. I don't really care. I would advise before anyone does any work on these is back it up. Use a fucking tool, whether OBD or once it's out, you can pin it out, and back it up, or if you want to read the EEPROM, you can. Because it's fairly easy to break one, they're fairly fragile. Or if you take it out and find it's fucked and you need to replace it because it's beyond repair, you've got the information, the mobiliser stuff there to go. Right. I'm plugging it, really straightforward. I'm going to try and do this whole job one-handed. Um, if I fucking can. Wimp slag. It's easier with two hands, but we've got the one. You Right, can you see me? Well, you can see the fucking ceiling now. Right, there we go. Plug off. Instrument panel out. Like I said, this is my rough as like. No, for fuck's sake. Deck the steering. She's out. Now, the proper way of testing these is because what normally happens is the can lines, where the can lines meet, which I think is, I can't remember offhand, 17 and 16 connectors inside there on the circuit board, a bit of corrosion, causes all sorts of fucking havoc. You can test these with a scope or whatever, but why fuck around when we see it almost daily? Right, opening it up, piece of piss. Little tabby guys, look at them. We got these ones for the back, uh, and then ones for the front. So oh, this is fucking difficult with a phone. Like I said, mine rough. Don't care. And just gently ease them out. Yeah. Those 
three out. Right, because these can rest in all sorts of different places, you should mark them up. Use your own fucking methods for that. I would normally just put a bit of tape there and then draw. But I don't care, it's mine. And twist them anti clockwise, remember that. Twist and pull. Twist and pull. Twist and pull. Get off. Done. Right, next. Pop him off. Easy. Whoa, look at all that magic shit we got. Right, so there is different types of instrument panel. Uh, this affects all sorts of Fords from fucking 2002 onwards, I reckon. Uh, Fiestas, Focuses, Ondeos, the Cougar. Um, Transit's the only one don't really see any problems with. Completely different dashboard. Um, it doesn't have to look like this. There's plenty of dashes that have exact same issue with the Fords. Um, like I say, it's really easy to pull it apart and just have a look. Um, it might not be that, I don't know on this car, but I'm confident it is because I see so many. No, my fucking luck. The one I bought will be something much more serious. But, right, flip her over. Lots of little tabs on here. This is going to be very difficult one handed, but we'll try it. Ooh. in but we need to give it one end and it'll be right two three this little fella oh, so what, um, what's been happening to me with this guy is all sorts of weird and wonderful lights but including what many people would gain just change a crank sensor is it's losing a vehicle speed sensor but it's not there you go she's off that's that bit, out of my way. Front bit is there, right. You got the LCD, there's different types of fittings for the LCD, so we'll flip it over, have a look at the back. And, uh, fucked if I know this one comes off, but we'll figure it out. Is that just resting on the board then? We'll find out, let's fucking just bother it. I would never treat a customer's guy like this, by the way. This is mine. You've got lots of little tabs here. This is a circuit board that I'm being very rough with. One. Come on. That'd be a fucking cunt. Oh, life's a lot easier when you get two hands. This is a very boring video, isn't it? Boys and girls. Right. Gently go around, you can use these bits to pull it up with. Fairly sturdy. Um, but again, when you're a one handed chappy, things can be a bit more fucking fiddly. Come off, you cunt. Gonna snap me circuit board. Leave me fucking little motor immobilized on the ramp. We don't know. Stay tuned. Find out. something or I don't know, you can see I've got the screwdriver in here. I'll probably knock a chip off or something along those lines. Um, lever. Lever. Right. So they're all fairly loose.
one left in the fucking corner, I'm being a prick. Off. Right, there you go. So, as you can see, them pins there. You can see them clearly. R4, the LCD screen, which goes into that connector block there, so be steady when putting them back in. Uh, there's completely different types. There's types with um, like a rubberized strip uh, and a, a silver aluminium surround around that you take off, um, but you see it if you pull it apart. Right, our block connector. What's the back look like? Fucking shit. Don't know. Yeah. Where's my? Well, I don't know well you can see this. Um, let me see if I can get that to focus on that. These little puppies here, fairly corroded. That's straight away. Noticeable. Um, not the worst in the world, to be honest. But that's why this is very intermittent, this problem. Now, another good thing to do is if you get focus or forward in for other work and you get plugged in, you've got some random CAN communication sorts. It's worth pulling this apart, having a look. A bit of a preemptive strike, see the customer don't get stranded in the middle of nowhere with a non starting car. Um, and it's good service to offer. Uh, also, let's have a quick look around the board, see if we can see anything else quickly. Da -da -da. I'll be honest with you, the rest of it looks pretty good. I would, but I mean, obviously, these need reflashing. It's nice to go over any other bits as old that you can do, but while you're there, reflash it. Boom, we'll be done. Um, right, I'm going to do that now. Unfortunately, I cannot do that one-handed. Hope this helps somebody. Cheers. Bye. Just quickly, something I wanted to add, obviously. I've thrown it back on. I haven't thrown the front cover on. Uh, just to make sure everything works. Um, wanted to add, that whole process of stripping it down to inspect it took a total of, what, 10 minutes? Um, so in my opinion, it is well worth doing. Even, like I say, if the customer's not having any of these faults, but during a scan you've noticed random uh, can line faults and things like that. It's worth having a look. Um, not trying to make more money out of your customer, but to help your customer out so that they don't suffer with these problems in the future. Um, cool.